Hello YouTube, and welcome to the first part of the Gunzal Vice City Stories playthrough with Facecam. I decided since the um, first time I played this here on YouTube, it switched between the PC of the PSP emulator to a mobile version, to, my, to the Android version of the PSP emulator. I decided we're going to do it again. So I delete all those old parts. Don't even try to look for them. They're gone. Let's get it started. Of course, the music is turned off because of copyright reasons. Now, I did have this going on for Twitch, but for Twitch, they're not getting it anymore because the stream just wants to keep dying on Twitch when I'm streaming on my phone with this. So Twitch is going to have to wait for this playthrough until I can get a PC. What? What's going on? Um, okay, um, I think we have an audio bug. No, brothers. One is real sick, asthma, and I, I gotta pay the bills. The other, well, he's sick too, but in a different way. My mom's a mess. So you joined the army to get rich? Not exactly, but you know, my dad came here from DR. We didn't have a lot of opportunities. What else was I supposed to do? Why did you join up? To get rich. Why are you messing with me, Sergeant? I ain't. Chill, relax. Take a seat. Look. Thick. There are plenty of opportunities for a man who knows the game to make real money. So, I don't want any trouble, man. Who wants trouble? Nobody. Everybody wants to relax. No trouble. And there's plenty of money to be made. Nice and easy. Listen, I don't think this is for me, so there's nothing else. Hey, relax, huh? Come on, Vic. I need a favor. No risks. <clears throat> so why do you need me if there's no risk? Because I got a registration. Besides, you're not on duty for a couple of days. Listen, you take my bike and get over to the airports and pick up the package for me, huh? Okay. Just this one favor, and that's it. Good. I can't believe we already have a glitch. Listen, if plans change, I'll let you know. What's this? It's a pager, tough guy. Welcome to the 80s, Vic. So I was going to originally record at 60, FP at 60 FPS, but the emulator was just like, yeah, you're not recording me at 60 FPS. You can only play me at the max of 30 FPS, so why would you try to record me at 60 FPS? <clears throat> I probably would have done the same thing if I had PlayStation Plus Deluxe and playing a game on there. Because the editing probably would be, be 
a bit better. But, I mean, we make do with what we got, though. <clears throat> hey, army boy! Jerry sent you. Say, Jerry? Ah, uh, Sergeant Martinez. Sure. <laughs> hey, come with me, soldier. I've got something for your boss. Man, life's been good to you. <laughs> Come on, let's take a ride. Here's Jerry's stuff. Tell him my cut goes up next time. Vice City's getting too peligroso for us freelancers. Speaking of which, we've got company. Grab that gun and take them out. I might also replay the um, Liberty City stories as well. Well, damn. You look for no touch, okay? <clears throat> there we go. Martinez, hide the stuff in your barracks. Man. I mean, why would we hide it in our barracks? And I'm recording this like around 9 o'clock at night. This is your barracks. Walk into the large area to enter the and exit buildings. Well, first I want to grab this health. You can save your progress by collecting the save icon. Time will advance by six hours. So it's just like every GTA except GTA 5. Definitely walk into the weapon to pick him up. Of course, old GTA games. Gotta save after every mission. Obviously, I'm gonna edit out the um, going to the safe house saving and an ammunition when we unlock it. <clears throat> but until then, ammunition still locked. Plus, first part usually remains unedited with playthroughs like this. I'm just taking a break from the modern, from definitive edition, and, um, and I'm gonna sell five because I need a break from those. I want to play some classic GTAs like this one. Sure. No worries. Oh, look, I gotta go. The cavalry just turned up. Okay, bye. Corporal, what can I do for you? Listen, Jerry, you gotta get rid of that stuff. It's making me nervous. I'm not into drugs, and Chill I don't... the fuck out, my friend. You're really getting on my nerves. Besides, who are you gonna get in trouble with? I'm your superior officer, and you told me you needed the money. I do need the money. Uh-huh. But you don't like drugs. I don't think they're a good scene. Me neither. But you like guns, huh? They don't give you a moral problem, I mean. No. Good. Because I know a guy who can sell all the guns we can get them, which is, trust me, quite a lot. I don't know, Sergeant. This is getting heavy. You'll make a whole pile of cash for nothing. Buy that sick brother of yours a whole lot of candy. What do I have to do? <clears throat> Nothing. Just go and pick up the money from him. He's down over by the docks. <clears throat> hey, Vic. Want some of this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want none of that cocaine. I mean, it is... The game does take place in the, um, 80s. Because this game is like two years before Vice City. Two years before Tommy even came. So right now, Tommy is still in jail in Liberty City for the Hallwood Butch... with his nickname, the Hallwood Butcher, around this time. 
And Sonny's probably laughing his ass off. Because, yes, Sonny Fuelli is still alive, but we don't hear of him. We only know about, um, what was it, his brother, Giorgio? So, Giorgio's around in this game as well. But Giorgio won't make an appearance. Wait, no. Giorgio was Sonny Forelli's cousin. I, 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 no, was he his brother or was it his cousin? So I know Marco Forelli was Sonny Forelli's brother. <clears throat> and for those that want to play this game, you can either get the uh, PSP emulator, which is PPSSPP, or you can get... Or you, or you can download the um, PS2 emulator, which I believe is PCSX2. Because Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories only came out for PlayStation Portable and PlayStation 2. But I, don't, but I haven't checked the ca game catalog for PlayStation Plus Deluxe. Because I don't have PlayStation Plus Deluxe. I'm only on Essentials because I didn't have the... Uh, PlayStation Now subscription along with my PlayStation Plus. So I'll never know if it's in the category in the catalog in the game catalog unless someone tells me. You must be Vic. Jerry told me about you. Hey, I used to be in the service. Yeah, listen. He said you'd have some money for me. Sure, sure. Well, I ain't a bank. I don't have it on me. But I'll take you to it. Take me. Oh, we got a little more ammo. That's good. Make you way to Phil's old place. <clears throat> Not that far of a drive. I've been having trouble with them Cholo boys. Some of them have What the hell is a cholo? Bunch of Mexican gangbangers, bad boys, trying to take over all the gun running in town. Look, where's the money, Phil? Yeah, well, funny thing, you see, it's like this. It's under the floorboards of my old place. But the cholo evicted me, and now I can't get to it. I'll get to it. See you around. <clears throat> that, I, I'm definitely making sure that gets into the montage of Vic saying, what the hell's a cholo? I mean, grab that bat. I mean, free bat. You disrespect me, Cholo! Kill you, good pendejo. You can't kill me. I'm indestructible. Oh God! You clearly think you're hot shit. That was funny, the camera just shook when he died. <laughs> no, if I get a claim for that music, I don't care. First part's always unedited. No cuts. Unless I get a rude interrupted phone call by that do not disturb on. So I doubt that's going to happen. Oh jeez, my hair's starting to look like Lance Stewart's hair. Crap, I was supposed to turn, wasn't I? Ah, damn. <clears throat> now, ex don't be surprised if I somehow end up going back to my old ways of, um... And in the video, if I fail a mission some, for some for some bull crap, there's a gun. 
You know what? If I need that, I'll remember where that's at. Um... Can I cut through here? Oh, that's a dead end. Crap. Ooh, body armor. Definitely picking that up. <clears throat> okay, so how do I... I can't believe you just did that. Okay, there we go, there we go. We found where we need to go. Ouch. You know what? That, surprisingly, that could have gone bad in so many ways. And I mean so many ways. Aunt Eden. Don't get into any trouble, Victor. We're counting on you. Man, why is everybody in the Vance family guy counting me? Lance says hi. Lance! More pistol ammo. Save the game. Phil lets his friends use the shooting range whenever they want. Good to know! Now I'm gonna use it. Okay, we'll do the next mission and then we'll call it a part. Because one, I'm actually a bit tired, it doesn't look great. And I know what y'all are going to comment when you see me in the cutscenes just drinking some water in the Mountain Dew bottle. Oh, you're drinking Mountain Dew. Shut up. Just shut up. It ain't Mountain Dew. It's water. I mean, I had Mountain... I mean, I had a Mountain Dew, but... I don't drink this big of a bottle in one sitting anymore. Well, did anyone ever tell you you got a really dumb name? No, no one's ever mentioned that before. Oh my. Look at that! Hey, is that legal? Can animals give consent? I don't know. Listen, Jerry, can you stash that weed somewhere weed? else? What weed? <laughs> I'm sitting with you! Come on! Having fun! Rock and roll! Oh, would you fucking relax, my friend? Look, I'm not some idiot that you can just- I never called you an idiot! <sighs> oh, shh, shh. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. No, she got a pig and a horse. Ooh <laughs> that candy sucks. <laughs> That's some guy's daughter, man. Listen, Jerry. No, you listen, huh? Oh, dude. Will you look at that? Man, I gotta get laid. Oh, jeez. Hey, if you weren't such a square, I'd do you, huh? <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. This is the army, not the navy, huh? <laughs> Listen, man, I need a broad, huh? Oh, I need Mary. Mary, yeah. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> oh, come on, man, I need a favor. I need you to collect your pot, dude. Sure, I'll go get that from your quarters. You go get Mary for me, okay? She's over at Vice Port. Oh, and go see Phil again. He says something about a gift for you. I don't trust you, Martinez. Hey, that is not an appropriate way to speak to a superior officer. <laughs> now get out with it, come on. The reefer is under my bed. Oh, genius. Great hiding place. What are you, 15? Huh, hurry up. Oh, hey, and tell Mary I love her. Fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> you all know that man's watching. I'm not saying the word on YouTube because YouTube will give me a guideline strike and I'm not about to get that, get that shit. I'm not about getting a. I'm not about to get a community guideline strike. I better just deal with the copyright claims. Cause tr half this music in the game, I cannot unmute. I cannot mute unless I mute the full-on game volume, and I'm not about to do that. I am not unmuting. 
the full actual sound effects. <clears throat> so if YouTube wants to copyright claim me for the sound effects, go right ahead, YouTube. I'm not afraid of the copyright claims. That's probably another one of the reasons why I started doing Twitch as well. But you haven't followed Twitch, uh, follow me on Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash mattplaysgamingyt. I'll, I'll try to remember to put links in the, li link in the description. <laughs> so, can we get a timestamp for that? Timestamp hey, for that Vic, crash. How you doing? Martinez wanted me to give you this. Don't worry, it's Don Trace. Don't worry. Man, I'm getting too deep into this shit. And before you all I say, this is the size of Mountain Dew I can drink in one sitting. Because I am limiting myself. Yes, you all heard that correctly, YouTube. I am on a freaking diet. Oh, uh, uh, what I do? I'm already messing up this card. Do you know Mary? If you want Mary, that ass though. That ass. I'm heading over there myself. You can give me a lift. Oh, that was a cop right there. We almost hit the cop. by the way if there's anything I can do for you or to you just let me know <laughs> and, I, and here's the question for the video for today's vi for this GTA by City Stories video what GTA from the 3d era and only the 3d era is your favorite G is your G favorite GTA because we all obviously know San Andreas is my favorite 3D era GTA. This one, Vice City Stories, is definitely top two. It's like in second place, tied with uh, Thanks, Vice City. Rugged fella. Maybe I can pay you back in kind later. I just need to find Mary. Sure, she's right over there. Are you Mary? Come on, let's go. Hey, we paid for her. She's not going anywhere. Is that a fact? Damn right. Come on. Let's get this low-life nobody and teach this bitch a lesson, too. Get off me, man. Stay calm. Uh, uh, let's do this. Step off. Uh, quit bugging. Oh, we hold square to block enemies. No, we're taking the red in front of us. I've got a delicate disposition. And I also look back at one of the older comments. And someone literally asked. I forgot someone asked me to play Chinatown Wars. It is like the only... PSP GTA I have not played. Still owes me from last time. I refuse to play Chinatown Wars. So I don't want to see any comments asking me to play Chinatown Wars. Because I will not. I will not even touch that with a 10 foot pole. Hell, I wouldn't even touch it with the Grinch. Because... I don't like how it's a top-down view game. I don't like that. I don't like those kind of games. I really don't. Corporal Vance, would you care to explain why there's marijuana hidden under your bed? And who the Sam Hill is this? Hey, buddy. Listen, I charge more for Groot. You brought a whore onto the base? Have you no shame, boy? Are you a moron? Is that it? Drugs, whores, you're out of here, soldier. You're a disgrace! 
Well, damn, Martinez just got us fired. Oh. Now we can't make that money to help Lance and... Wait, is it ever mentioned what the name of uh, Lance and Vic's other brother? Well, damn. We got dishonorably discharged. I've got work for you and a place to stay if you need it. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of am in need of a place to stay since I can't stay in the, um, in Fort Baxter anymore. <clears throat> At least that's why I think it's, I don't remember what the military base in this game is called. I'm pretty sure I still remember some of the missions. There's one mission I am never gonna forgive and forget. And that is the... And that mission will pop up later on. In the playthrough. Maybe it'll be the first mission in the next part. Who knows? Oh. Oh! I think we're going to burn out the engine of this moped. You can now use Phil's old place as a safe house. <clears throat> Where's Phil going to sleep at? His shooting range? Any vehicle parked in the garage around the back will be stored whenever you save your game. Be -do -be -do. Telling me about the radio stations. Why do I need to worry about the radio? Yeah, they took our guns, they took our army clothes, they even took our, you know, they took our guns, man. We ain't got no guns. They could have at least let me have my baseball bat. Well, we're unfortunately going to have to end this part here of Vice City Stories. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. And also, comment down your favorite 3D era GTA game. I don't care if you've watched people play it. Just tell me what your favorite one is. And also, tell me, please, put comment down timestamps as well for the funny parts during this playthrough. So we can get the montage going. Because the Vice City, the Vice City Definitive Edition one is struggling because no one put timestamps in. So please, put the timestamps in. Get those going. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.